What's up, mother ruckers? What's up, y'all? Um, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video with us. Um, this week we wanted to do an update. We haven't done an update, I think, in about who knows two weeks since the. It hasn't been that long. Yeah, it's been two weeks. This is this will be going on the third. Um, we did a 14 week update, and today, as of today, have we done a video since our appointment. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. As of today, this will be week 17. So Aiden is the size of a pomegranate or a creme brulee, which is her favorite favorite dessert. Um. So, what's new this week? Or these three weeks, actually, like two and a half. Oh, that's for me. I can't. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be pregnant in like a year, but I'm not pregnant right now. Oh, so that is for me. Yes, it is. Pregnancy brain, still there, just so y'all know, clearly. But, I feel something. It doesn't feel like a kick, but it's definitely a kick. I just, how do I describe this? It feels like he kicks you in your bladder. Yes. Like I don't feel it in my stomach. I feel it in like my organs. But he kicks her in her bladder a lot. Um, and at least at least once a day. Yeah. And it's usually either right after I empty my bladder or when my bladder is full. So I'll feel like. It feels more like a knot, and then it'll like move like he's stretching. Um, a lot of times I don't know I have to pee until he does that, so thanks. <laughs> but um, to be honest, I thought my, the, when I first, when I first, when I felt the first movement, it was gonna be like, oh my gosh, it was a little tickle. No, he's he's. Elbow on me, kicking me, head butting me in the bladder. It's not comfortable at all. But you know, um, and he does it at the weirdest times. Like I've been at work all day, ripping and running, and then as soon as I get in the car, and I'm like, oh, he kicks me. So um, I usually only feel it when I'm not moving around much. So in the car, laying down, things like that. Uh, Alright, so Jerry's birthday was February 2nd, so for everybody who didn't know, happy belated birthday to my wife. I'm 24. <laughs> you still young. She's still 23. I'm in my mid-20s. She's in her early 20s. She's such a baby. Look at you. The little baby. Whatever. Anyway. Um, but for her birthday, one of the things that I brought her, because if you're not following us on like Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, um, and I mean, I'm pretty sure we've, we've already said this on the channel. Um, she struggles with anxiety. And um, she can't, like, she gets very, very stressed out over, like, things that I found very little. But for her, it's pretty big. Um, but, I mean, of course, I thought this was a big one, too, because it's our child. I bought her a Doppler. A baby Doppler. So, it is by Sweetie Song. It's a... <laughs> Uh, a, a pocket fetal doppler um they do sell these on amazon they sell them on walmart.com this which is where i bought mine i bought mine from walmart.com um it was about 45 almost 50 dollars and um it's basically just a handheld doppler the same one that they use at the um doctor's office and it you know just clicks on like that and you Pop it off, turn it on, which we'll show you at the end of the video yeah. how this works. I've called her from work, like crying, like, I don't know if he's okay. So, this really helps because, especially before I Stop felt anything, yeah. I used to freak out, like, we have to wait four weeks until we can make sure he's okay, and I want to know now. So, pretty much every other night, if not every night, we, we listen to his heartbeat. Yeah. Um, even even if I do feel a kick, I, I do it. So, but yeah. 
But yeah, so, but last night, well, okay, like, since February 2nd, he's been, like, right here. He, he scared us last night. And I went there last night trying to find a heartbeat in the same spot, and it was very quiet. And I was like, what the freak, yo? So, I went to the other side, and it was still pretty quiet. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm trying not to freak her out. So, I was just like, Phew. <laughs> trying to find it trying to find it and then finally i pressed in hard like a little harder and um went into the middle and it was loud as i don't know what so i don't know if he got bigger or if he moved or if he was just but, like yo i don't like this spot right and he just went floop so i'm used to him being on the left but now he's more so in the middle i guess um no, that's the right. I was like, yo, maybe the camera did some freaky <laughs> stuff, but... <laughs> Don't do me. <laughs> Don't do it. But yeah, she's used to him being on the left, but last night he was on the right for some reason. But um, we did go in for our 16-week appointment. Last Tuesday. On Tuesday. Yes. Um, And we were hoping that we would get an ultrasound, which would have been the anatomy scan, but... They're going to do that. They're going to do it at 20 weeks, so in like three weeks. Yep. <sighs> Um, That'd so yeah, it will be. Um, I'm a, like I said, I have a fear. I think I told you guys this. I have a fear that they mix up our paperwork and it's really a girl. So I, once I see it, I'm going to really believe, okay, this is a boy because paperwork can get switched up. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, this is the most excited I've ever seen. I mean, I've ever been to see a penis in my life. But hopefully it's there. <laughs> right, we need it to be there for real. Right, but um, everything went good at that appointment. Yeah. Um, we didn't switch doctors. We we want we we. Tr I wanted to switch doctors because I wanted a man. I wanted a woman, but the woman that we went to, she's I horrible. I didn't like her at all. She was so insensitive. So n like nothing, nothing, nothing. We didn't, we didn't like her. So we're going back. We were like her last patient and she was just ready to go and I don't like that. So yeah. I I deserve the same amount of time that everybody else got from you. And she already came in there like 30 minutes late. So, so whatever. We're going to go back to our old doctor. He's really nice. He's really, really nice. And I'm excited to see him in, in three weeks. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, we bought him a crib. Oh, we did? Yeah, we did buy him a crib. Well, oh. my, my mom bought him a crib. Yeah. She found it at Walmart. It was like on the clearance aisle for $100, which is great. It's a five in one. And I think it's black. Mm hmm. It's well, black. It's, yeah, it's black. It's black. Yeah, it's, it's black, which I wanted gray furniture, but when you find a hundred dollar crib you just get that thing so right. <laughs> we're gonna do black furniture now but we're gonna still do like gray accents so i cannot wait to set yeah. up his room and all that stuff either. we will show you guys in our tree um but probably that'll be like summertime right later on when we get everything you know set up and everything like that. symptoms i have less headaches thank the lord um i'm still exhausted like going to work is the biggest struggle it is the biggest struggle. Mon Monday through Friday, it's like, I will wake up crying. I don't want to go to work that bad. It, I'm exhausted. Yeah. So. Then we were sick this past week. We both got sick on our birthday weekend. It was horrible. So we missed two days of work. Yeah. It was. It was, it was awful. Um, my appetite is still, it's not bad. But I don't think it's good for a pregnant person. I don't eat a lot. But I have gained two pounds according to my doctor. That's so good. that's good. Um, I know they said over the next couple of weeks, this is when she'll be gaining more and more pounds. So we'll definitely be trying to look yeah, out for that. I'm supposed to be gaining a pound a week, which I guess is kind of accurate. How long have I been in my second trimester? No, it's not good. <laughs> not at all. But... Uh, <laughs> But um, they didn't say anything about it. They said it's fine. Um, as long as I try to eat something, I should force myself to eat. So, you know, forcing myself is going to make me sick. I try my best. I don't just not eat. Right. But what? If anybody knows of some prenatals, it's not gigantic. So one a day, prenatal one a day, that's out. Um, she can't do that. If it's big... 
don't even worry about it. But if it's small or if it's chewable and not the gummy with the little sugar coated chewable on it, put it down below because we are like I'm struggling. I don't know what to to get her. Like, like I, I can take I can take a big pill, but since being pregnant, like I don't know. Like my 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 gag reflexes are like so much more sensitive. Like she has a small esophagus. Stop it. I wait. Hold on. <laughs> I've been had a small esophagus. That has nothing to do with my gag reflex. I literally gag on nothing. So when I put a pill down my throat, it's like, like I don't even eat bread anymore because it's just the thickness, just ugh. So I really need help with this prenatal thing because I have to take them, but they're all so either so big or I have to chew them, which is disgusting. So if you have any ideas about that? Let us know. Cause. Yes, please put it below. Please. Um, so we're going to show you this Doppler and of course her bump. So, like I said today, she is 17 weeks and zero days. Um, <laughs> so this is her bump so far. This is with my shirt on. And this is, this is it. These are coming out. Don't worry about that. Yeah, her belly button. Let me see. It's starting to poke out a little her bit. Her belly button is so hard now. But her belly button is starting to like, I don't know if you can. If you can feel how see. hard this is, right? Feel this. This got to be a body part. <laughs> feel this. <laughs> I don't want to touch it so hard. But if you can see her belly button. um, It didn't used to be like that. Yeah, it definitely was not like this before. It's like. Like you can, you can actually touch it. Like it's starting to come out. So. Yes. So these are coming out. I think I'm just going to get rid of them. If I feel like re-piercing that crap later, I will, but I probably won't. But yeah, that's it. And people at my job are definitely noticing. I have a person ask me once a day if I'm pregnant. And I go, yeah, I won't lie to them. I just won't, you know, tell them. And it did come with the gel. We might have big, we're probably going to get some more. They didn't give us enough to last us. I don't know. It's just a little tube. Like, <laughs> this is the tube. The tube of blue. <laughs> it's the tube of blue. <laughs> so y'all can hear it. I hope they can hear it. No heartbeat. <laughs> so it's, it's, it works in real life. Because so. we had an app. And we thought it was working, and then I put it on the bed, and the, apparently the bed has a heartbeat, so. It's getting warm. Oh, warm. yeah. Forgot. We Real did, every day. We did our Babies on Rush registry. We can finish it that time. Okay, finish and I'll Thanks. tell them about it's the Babies on Rush registry. It's getting more and more real every single day. It's crazy out here in these streets. <laughs> Can't stand you. But not for real, though. But go ahead about the Babies on Rush registry. We did a Babies on Rush registry and if you are pregnant and you want to do a Babies on Rush registry, go online, sign up for it, and it'll, they'll go to, you go to the store and they'll walk you through all of the stuff that you need and tell you about things you didn't know about. It was nice. We had a whole hour and we just walked around the store, me, her, and my mom, and it was really fun. I think we have about 300 things on our registry. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty but once again, our registry will be down below. Yes, Walmart, Target, Babies R Us. R Us. So if you would like to buy us something or if you just want to go see what we have, 
Go check it out down below. It'll be in the links. Don't down below. judge me. I I OD'd on a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, none of this was me, by the way, you guys. This was definitely her. So I, just, I mean some of it was. Like if you are getting to know us, you'll notice who was who and what was both of us. So, um, yeah, but you gotta throw shit. Oh, but if you are pregnant, um, and you wanna register a baby's R us, I don't if you don't know already. They have where basically you go into the store and if you add it to the registry and you buy it on the registry, you get a percentage of it back. Even if it's your, um, like if anybody on the, if anybody buys anything on the registry, you get a percentage of it back to your pocket. Right. And then at the end, what they, like a month before your due date, they'll give you 10% off of everything, everything on, your on your registry. So you can go and buy it if you haven't gotten it already. So that is really a good thing. Um, Even though they're a little expensive. They but. are a little expensive. I mean, some things aren't that bad. Um, They have a lot of sales. Um, We did end up buying some stuff while we were there. But they have when like like if you see it on sale, grab it because it, nine times out of ten it's a pretty good sale and we haven't seen anything to beat it. But yeah, which so. everything that we bought has been on sale. Everything that we and bought we're almost sale. done with buying stuff for him. Like we literally need a changing table. No, no, no more. Oh, we literally need a changing pad, a mattress, a crib mattress, and a rocker, like a rocking chair. That's it. That's big item things. I mean, well, we course. want a mama room, but that'll be the last thing we buy. Yeah. So but everything else, is all of this furniture like, we have, and yeah. it was on sale. Um, really of course, cheap. of course, we'll need like more clothes, beds, receiving blankets, bottles. Like we really don't have any of that stuff. Yeah, cause we did that big, those big hauls, and everybody was like, well, "What do we got? What are we going to buy, you guys?" We still need like onesies, bibs, blankets, socks, socks the essentials, bottles. So we haven't bought everything. We've really just got the big, huge things because we were like, people are not really gonna want to buy us hundred dollars worth of items. Um, but so oh yeah, we gotta get a car seat and stroller. We forgot. Yeah, we haven't bought that either yet. But um, we we're gonna wait for that for a minute. Yeah. But I mean, as far as like little items that's on the registry, toys. We don't have any toys. Um, so. It's a lot of stuff left. It may seem like we have a lot, but we still are missing <laughs> a lot of some stuff. key things. So, so yeah. But um, thank you so much for watching and coming back to another to watch another video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, we are getting pretty close to our 200 mark where we want it to be. It's just a start, um, and like we said, we will be doing a giveaway. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, so if we hit it with any time in February, we'll go ahead and make you like a Valentine's Day basket. That's what we came up with. If we hit it in March, then we'll change it up and you'll be our Valentine. Yeah, you'll be our Valentine. Or you and if you're a couple, or we'll go ahead and send you or you and your other half a gift um from us, like a basket or something, um, that we'll put together. Um, yeah, because we're corny like that. If not, then we'll figure, <laughs> we'll figure it out the next month. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much, everybody who keeps coming back and keeps watching the videos and keeps subscribing. Um, I mean, you can only subscribe one time. Unless you unsubscribe, then you suck. But, um, wow. I'm just joking. No, I'm serious. Um, you're just joking. No, you're serious. <laughs> but no, seriously, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I said, um, but so, to enter the drawing, okay, um, you have to, you have to be subscribed. You have to, like, that's the number one thing. You have to be subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then we have nobody to pick from. Um, you have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to at least comment it on some of the videos, at least a couple. Like at least three videos. Comment on at least three videos. Um, and you can follow us on Snapchat right here or Instagram right here. Um, yeah, so that's about, that's about it. it. And then we'll go through and we'll Put it to a randomizer and we'll choose a name, a YouTube name. Um, and we'll go from there and then we'll, you know, hit you, hit up. you up, message you or whatever. Check your messages. <laughs> um, and we'll let you guys know um, who won based off of that. And we'll also do a video of letting you guys know who won. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. So, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.